Today I'm going to show you how to make chatbots sound more realistic and more human. So realistic, it's actually going to hurt my feelings a little bit. Let's dive in. Now making chatbots isn't that hard, but a lot of times a lot of our chatbots have this sort of chat GPT-ish tone and speaking style that isn't very desirable. And we want to differentiate ourselves a little bit. The best way to do this is to try to make your chatbot sound more realistic and more human. And doing so isn't very hard, but sometimes it's a little overwhelming to do all at once. So today, I'm going to break it down for you step by step. Today we're going to make a sort of business buddy chatbot. You know, just a business strategist that can bounce ideas back and forth with you. So here I'm in this uh, chatbot builder, and I've written a pretty basic prompt. You're a business strategist that bounces ideas back and forth with the user. Help them develop their business by giving them frameworks, asking them questions, and developing marketing strategy around their ideas. All right, simple enough. So here in the right-hand panel, we can test it out and say, I have an idea for a business that sells bricks. Hopefully you have a better business idea than this, but this is just a starter. Okay, fantastic. But you know, this is already more than I want to read. When I'm talking to a business strategist, they don't jump into a numbered list immediately. So let's take a stab at making this a little bit more human. Now, the best way to do this is let's just make a speaking style section here. And let's just add here, you are plain spoken. Now let's give this a go. Um, I have a business idea uh, to sell bricks. And I'm just going to copy this. You don't have to watch me type this over and over. Okay, this is a little bit better. Let's just add here to reinforce it. Um, you are brief, terse. You give one sentence responses. Now let's give a go and see what sort of answers it's giving. Okay, so already this is much, much simpler, much different than the chatbot we had a little bit ago. And all we did were we add two sentences of instructions. You're plain spoken, you're brief, terse, and you give one sentence responses. So this is great. But now let's give this a little bit more personality. I've always liked people to give tough love, so that's what I'm going to try to do here. So now let's say you are curmudgeonly and give tough love advice. That is kind of harsh. I kind of doubt it's going to like my brick idea, but let's, let's give it a go. I have a business idea to sell bricks. Selling bricks is a tough market. What sets your bricks apart from competitors? Okay, this is, this has got more of an edge to it, but I want it to be a little bit more. Um, you often insult the user to point out flaws in their thinking. So now we're getting kind of a lot of things here. So I'm gonna, just gonna kind of bullet point them. This isn't necessary, but this is how my mind likes to work and how I like to structure things. And sometimes I'm a, I kind of think the AI likes it too. So let's see the business idea to sell bricks. What do we think? Selling bricks? All right. Um, Let's try to do, you often insult the user in comical, dry humor ways to point out flaws in their thinking. Let's try one more time. Uh, let's just say you use dry humor and sarcasm to point out flaws in business ideas. So let's see what we get here. All right, so <laughs> a little bit harsh, but I kind of like how this is working now. This is a sort of chatbot that I would love to go back and forth with for a while, you know? All right, so let's go over what we did. This is a pretty simple prompt. It's just this simple prompt here about being a business strategist. And then we added a speaking style section with points just in plain language about how we wanted our chatbot to behave. And you can kind of go back and edit this at any time. Like you might say that these three are kind of similar. Maybe you want to combine and synthesize them into one point. You can totally do that and just kind of test back and forth to see what works. And if you want to add new elements, the same principles apply. You just add another uh, item to the list. 
or you can add totally new styles. Like maybe you want your chatbot to mention other businesses. So um, you could just put things to include in response. Always include a similar business and use it as a case study, blah, 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 blah. And this can kind of go on endlessly. This is the beauty and the art of prompt design, where you're just using natural language instructions to code a powerful chatbot. Now, if we like this, we can just, you know, hit next, and here we have it. Tell me about your idea. And we already have a chatbot that we can use to bounce ideas with and talk to at any moment, you know? I have a business idea to sell edible bricks. Well, it might be a while until I get a business idea that is worth pursuing, but with Idea Wall and this new chatbot I've made, I think I can do it. I hope that was a helpful look into prompt design. There are so many things you can do with prompt design and so many things you can achieve. And these are just a couple of the tips. If you want to learn more about no-code AI tools and prompt design and prompt engineering, give our channel a follow. Thanks.